dumb vibes is here to entertain you. It is still unfortunate that it is like five days since the legendary and iconic rapper aka left us, but still, those who are responsible for claiming his life are nowhere to be found, which is very much normal because the police needs time in order to carry out appropriate investigation, so not any innocent person is being caught, but those who actually committed the crime and offense are the ones who are actually caught. But in today's video, there are definitely some tips after looking at the CCTV footage that when I was going through the internet, I discovered people are so sharp out here and they stumbled on very pertinent issues that if the police can definitely take into consideration, something beautiful can be done about this situation. Make sure you watch this video right up to the end. But before I do so, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, please like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. The way AKA's life was taken is a very, very unusual and bad way. AKA's life was claimed sometime last week Friday at Florida building in Deban, KwaZulu-Natal. He was scheduled to perform at his birthday party and little did he know that it was his last day on this planet Earth. And so, those who actually claimed his life must be found, judged and dealt with accordingly. Ever since the news broke out about his departure from this world, everyone has been trying their very best to find out leads on this case. From the second CCTV footage, if you look detailly at the moment whereby the person who claims the legend's life was running from the scene, we can actually see that he or she made contact with the SUV car that was parked there. And through this, we can see that it is possible for the police to trace down the fingerprints of the vehicle. It is very unfortunate that in this second CCTV footage, of course, the person who claimed the life of the top celebrity was seen clearly. And what is really more intriguing is the fact that he or she actually placed the hand on the vehicle while trying to escape after committing the offense. Though we are not certain that the owner of the car has actually not watched the vehicle yet and it's been days, so definitely there is a possibility that, of course, that might have happened. And if not, then the fingerprints may still be very well be on the vehicle and they can use it as a means of investigation so that they can, from the fingerprint, they can trace who actually did what they did. It is very much unfortunate that some of these things need to happen in such ways. So many people have been having so much speculations already as far as those who claimed the legend's life is concerned. I understand that he was an icon. I understand that he was a nation's pride. I understand that so many people loved him. But please... I really want to plead with each and every one of us out here that when we are doing whatsoever speculations we are doing, let's avoid actually putting people's names at the forefront. Let's leave the, the, the competent authorities to do that. Why do I say this? Simply because of the fact that what if we implicate somebody and the person has nothing to do with this? The person is definitely going to go through a lot, suffering, the trauma and everything and of course still come out to be innocent. Are we going to all as well apologize to the person? Remember that we are human beings. Remember that we have families. Remember that we are people's children as well. So any other person out here who is being implicated in this particular situation, especially those who are at the scene, unfortunately, almost all of them are being, you know, dragged on the media saying that they have something to do in one way or the other. Guys, they, those people are going through a whole lot. Imagine witnessing this kind of thing and you cannot really help the situation. Anyways, you all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. I love each and every one of you.